It is the Daily Five. I am your host, Wendy Cooper. And today, I'm going to tell you a true ghost story. I only have a few minutes to tell the story. So here goes. I moved into a house in El Segundo in, I don't know, doesn't matter what year it was. My, my youngest son was around eight years old. And we moved into that house because it was like this weird configuration of one of those old Spanish bungalow homes where they kind of built pieces on over the years. And so there was this little bedroom off of one of the other bedrooms that had a doorway so I could wean my son out of my bed, basically. <laughs> It was like perfect. And it was charming. And, you know, I really I loved it. I work from home. So, you know, my office would be there and blah, blah, blah. Now the closet door is one of those doors that have the glass doorknobs with the the hardware from, you know, the old school the house is like 100 years old. And I shut the door. And I get in bed and I'm so tired. You know how tired you are when you've been moving all day. And I lay down and I'm just falling asleep. And I hear... And then the door swings open, and it settles. (laughs) And I went, well, that's weird. I could have sworn I closed that, right? And uh, I was so tired, I went back to sleep. The next night, I had put my clothes away in the closet. I had these big Halliburton suitcases. They used to be very cool in the 80s <laughs> to have big metal suitcases. Can you imagine? What were we thinking? But anyway, I had a couple of Halliburton suitcases, and they were still in my bedroom. And so I was getting ready for bed. I closed the, the closet door. Again, it latched. I could tell because it's, you know, it's one of those really latchy ones. And I took the Halliburton suitcase, and I put it in front of the closet door. I get in bed and within minutes I hear hitting the suitcase. <laughs> and I just went, what the heck? There's got to be some kind of weird air pressure in the closet that is making the door open. You know, that's really what I thought. I thought, all right, the door is not balanced. The latch kind of is old. Uh, There's a wind thing that's happening in there. And I went to sleep. The next night, I decided that I would leave the closet door open. I did. I left the closet door open because I knew that there was something weird going on because there was no way there was a breeze in this little closet. And every time I would go into the closet, I would would talk to her and I would just say, you know, I'm, I'm sorry, (laughs) but I live here now. And as long as you stay nice, I'll play nice and I won't close the closet door. And I never for seven years closed the closet door. I did not close it. I never closed it. The other closet was also haunted because my mother and my son, who both stayed in that room, they didn't want to stay in that room anymore because they felt the presence of a ghost so strongly that my mother, after having her kidney removed, she went back to stay with my dad two days later because she said, nope, there's ghosts in there, that room. She I want to go home. My little grandma, who would come and stay with me every once in a while and would spend the night, but yet she would never lay down. She would always sit up. I get up one morning and I say, good morning, grandma. And she says, I'm not talking to you. She's sitting in the living room. And I said, why are you talking to me? Because you ignored me before when I was talking to you. You just ignored me. And I said, grandma, I just got up. She was talking to the ghost. Then it happens. Now the closet door is open, right? Uh, And I wake up and I see an apparition, right? Now, I don't even know if that's the right word. It was a human being, but I could see through her. And she had rollers in her hair. She was probably around 55. And she had a pink chenille uh, house coat on, one of those shorter ones. And she was just standing in the doorway between my room and my son Chance's room. 
And I looked at her, and I proceeded to scream bloody. Marino! Like, Marino! Marino! And I remember screaming at the top of my Marino! lungs. Then I got out of bed. Come here, Marino! She disappeared. I went out. There was Marino right there. And I said, how come you didn't hear me screaming? And he didn't hear me screaming. He would have heard me screaming. <gasps> I did live there for another seven years. And I never saw her again. But I did hear her every once in a while. In the kitchen. I always thought it was my husband or my son. It wasn't. It was her. I never told anyone until I was in an edit bay and I had to kill some time so I told a story the story about the haunted house. And Chance looked at me and he said, Mom, are you kidding me? I lived in a haunted house. You never told me. And I said, no, honey, I said, I'm going to tell you a story. A story isn't real. <laughs> but it was so real. So real. Anyway, that's my ghost story. And it really did happen. <laughs> I'm like, I've listened to this silly ghost story a thousand times now, and I'm finally going to, you know, I did all the sound effects, and I put them in, so if it doesn't sound professional, it's because it's not. It's because I just did it. I even made the sound effects myself with my Dolby Digital app, you know, thing that I have. Um, anyway, hope you enjoyed it, and I will see you soon. Check me out at my website, wendycooper.com. Share this, leave a review, do all that stuff that everybody always asks you to do at the end of a podcast. Thanks for listening. Stay safe. And... Uh, and vote because you, it is still time to vote. Keep our fingers crossed and let's hope for the best. This episode was produced by C Spart Run Productions, all rights reserved, damn it. And music was by Tom Morsey. Thank you, Tom. <laughs>